In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the idle air control valve, which sits right at the top of your intake here on this Ford Ranger with the 4.0 liter engine. Let's get started. To locate your idle air control valve, there may or may not be a plastic cover here. A lot of times there is. In this case, it is missing. So you would take the three seven millimeter bolts or screws off and remove the cover. Then you gain access to this entire area. This right here is the idle air control valve. So to remove it, first I'm going to unplug it. As you can see, there's an electrical connector on the back here. Take that off. And then there are two eight millimeter bolts. Let's remove both of those. With those removed, you can pull the idle air control valve right up and off. Inspect this area, remove the old gasket. If there's corrosion built up, use whatever you have, whether it's a wire brush or uh, anything else, rag, whatever you have to remove it. Make sure not too much falls down there. If anything does happen to fall, just blow it out. It's always a good idea to install a new gasket. Set that down in place. If you absolutely have to reuse your old one, you can, just make sure it's still pliable, not squished, damaged. Basically, you just wanna make sure it will seal up all the way around. Then, take your new IAC valve, place it up on top here, line up the two bolt holes. Looks like the connector wants to connect, so I might as well click it in now. There we go. Start your two bolts in. Start them by hand so that it doesn't cross thread. Once they're started, I'm gonna run them down with my impact, and then we'll torque them. Don't over tighten it. If you do over tighten it, what most likely will happen is either the plastic intake will crack or you'll pull the inserts out of the intake, neither of which is a good thing. The torque for these two is only 89 inch pounds. So if you don't have a torque wrench that goes that low, just make them nice and snug with a small ratchet. That will be tight enough. There we go, that should be all set. Turn on the engine, make sure it runs smoothly. If for some reason it doesn't, double check the gasket, make sure it seals up well, and of course the electrical connector. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.